go. Yes, God. <laughs> and soon enough, Lana will also have a fan, and I'm thrilled. Mr. Talented, you have to catch up. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm going to have to. <laughs> You're going to have to now. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to The Cup, the currently unnamed podcast where we put the real and the tea in reality. And you can always come to us first to quench your thirst. I'm Logan Murphy. I say something gay. Gay. Thank you, everyone. Uh, today I'm drinking some sparkling fruit punch in my cup mug because I cleaned it. Yay, adulting. Link in, the, link in the description to get your own. It's very nice. Yes, I still need to get mine out again, but I would only use water in it, but it's fine. <laughs> I am Brandon, your professional fangirl of Concert Dragon video games. Um, as always, my trusty dandy water bottle because hydration is important. And yes, I am Lana, your resident diva, here to give the tea, spill the tea, and drink the tea because you know I love me some tea. Per, um, and I am actually drinking tea. Not in my beautiful cup mug because the this mug is for piping hot tea, and apparently I didn't watch Untucked, so I don't know <laughs> if there's piping hot tea happening. <laughs> and nobody told me beforehand that it was some piping hot tea in Untucked because they said you should have watched it. We told you you should have watched it. <laughs> we said you should have watched it. But I lot of things to do in my life, and sometimes I don't have time to watch it. So when people see that there's some piping hot tea happening, you say, hey, ping Lana and tell her it's a necessity to watch Untucked because it's piping hot tea. I didn't know that. So I got regular sweet tea, iced tea, <laughs> cold tea, and I'm just going to sit and listen and shake my head and nod when the piping hot teas come because apparently you don't listen to my instructions. <laughs> if you have some tea, hit me up because you know I love me some tea. But my panel has failed me. All of them. Yep, I'm talking this about is <laughs> I was like, wait, where's the Lana rant that are going? <laughs> I know. <laughs> we're only two minutes in, we're already on a Lana rant. Wow. I love it, though. I let my wifey down. Let me down. You did. <laughs> and I am David Healy. I don't have a cute intro, but I have a cute shirt. Today, I'm wearing... Pangina. Gina Heel shirt. Yes. Pangina. Since I wasn't on the last episode, I had to show off my, my beautiful shirt. And it is signed by the one and only Pangina Heels. I met her last year, twice, and she was great both times. So I love me some Pangina. And I am drinking water, as always, as you should be, too. Right. Um, hello, guys. It is me. It is I, Mr. Talented, your favorite guy. And today, of course, I'm drinking some water sponsored by Mistress Couture Clay. Baby doll, baby doll, baby doll, Fox Incorporation Limited, of course, because hydration is very important. So yes, it's it's, it's summer now, especially like mm -hmm. yeah. stay hydrated. Oh, yeah, it was that's the week. only thing you take from this podcast. Stay hydrated. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was hot this weekend for me, so I clearly needed it. It's ninety six degrees right now in Arizona. Damn, you should guess. have whispered that. 96. So, <laughs> I'm saving my whispering of 96s for the actual ball because I know that's probably going to come up at least once. But that part. <laughs> it, it is All Stars 8. It is episode 3. It's the ball. Too fucking Ooh. early again. Uh, never too early. No, it's too early. Yeah. Honestly, though, if they did it later in the season, how many looks would they be saving us? Just the uh, the ones that they made. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. It's just like, as a podcaster, I'm like, I don't want to have to pull 34 looks for an episode. Like, no, thank you. <laughs> I think RuPaul said, do your job. If you want to talk about us, then you pull all the looks. <laughs> do your job. It seems like nobody wants to work these days. Nobody wants to work these days. Everybody's so lazy. Like, seriously. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so we come back into the workroom. Nasha is gone. Hmm. I'm sad. Same. Because Nisha is gorgeous. I'm all right. 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, nature's gorgeous, but nature just gave not what it needed to give all the way. Completely give. I don't know. I liked her, but I didn't. I wasn't like sad, super, super duper sad that she's gone. She, for me, is the epitome of great at drag. Just not the best at Drag Race. Exactly. And she has now been eliminated first, second, and third on her team. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh my. Keep the record going, baby. You are doing new. It, it, she'll come back for All Stars 14 and get uh, fourth boot. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. And you know what? I would be happy to see her get fourth boot. Um, but no, Elimination Lopez is gone. We get the, or we find out, because obviously the the group uh, vote was revealed last week, sending Nisha home. We do also find out that Jimbo had pulled Nisha's lipstick. Um, so regardless, Nisha was going home. The vote ends up being seven to three, with Kahana receiving three votes, one obviously from Nisha, the other two coming from Jessica and Mrs. Kasha Davis. And they both give their reasoning. Jessica's reasoning is like, hi, I literally grew up with her. That's not what she said. She was like, I this is my sister. If she had said, hi, I've literally known her since she was 16 and we grew up together. I don't think Kahana would have had nearly the reaction that she did. And every uh, the reaction that Kahana had was very valid, obviously. No, it wasn't. Obviously, it was. No, I'm oh. gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. Kahana was spoiled. That was very unvalidated because honestly, her vote is her vote. Nobody owes anybody anything about why they voted the way they voted. That was her vote. And oh. if Kahana, being a sister of color, understands when you're in a competition with other sisters of color, you ain't trying to just go for vote for them because of just to do it like you that is her sister they they known each other she's like look i am not gonna vote out another puerto rican anybody understands that it should have been kahana in that moment but she decided to be like oh yeah that one baby baby because if you would have did that and said i don't want to vote out um lala reed because i don't want to vote about i don't want to vote out candy i don't want to help my sister my you know i don't want to vote candy i don't want to vote you should have understood that. And when I saw that, I was like, mm, I don't like it. I, and she should have understood at least Jessica Wilde's reasoning. Like, yeah. she should have. Now, if you want to get upset over Kasha's reason because Kasha said she felt emotionally attached to her story, sure, whatever. Because emotionally attached to a, a moment is a moment and it's a thing and it happens. Some people do. and they, But nobody felt that way when they said they felt emotionally attached to uh Beverly Hills. All right. They, didn't, they, they wasn't like how do you, how do you not like he, she, they felt emotionally attached to the story. It happens. I felt like Kahana's response and for the reason why they voted was very like not warranted, not justified. It was just it was just her being upset and in her mm-hmm. feelings that she got some votes. I don't know if you thought she was going to not get no votes, but honey, people sometimes vote how they want. And if emotion is the way they voted, then emotion is the way they voted. You don't, I, I ain't like it. I, 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 have, I, have, I, I kind of see both sides of it because like I get, I would be annoyed because on paper, hey, I've done the best of the two of us by far. I have a win. But, so she might be thinking, are they actually trying to get me out? Because that's shady if they are. But my whole thing was they weren't campaigning uh, for Nisha to stay. So I think Kahana should have took a step back and realized they weren't trying to get me out. That was a sympathy vote. Now, sympathy votes can be dangerous in games like these. Very. But she was safe. She was fine. So I wouldn't sweat it too much. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. So we come back in the next day. RuPaul walks in. Mini challenge? Who needs it? <laughs> Who needs a mini challenge? <laughs> I don't. Apparently. Yeah, whatever. Uh, and we find out that it is the ball, but it's not just any ball, it's the supermarket ball. This was stupid. 
What did you like? You don't like the theme? I just, okay, not to get on my soapbox here for just a second. <laughs> Why? But I'm not. I just, I, <laughs> I hate how bastardized ball culture has become on Drag Race. I think that's the difficulty for me. Because, like, let's be honest, none of these would probably be real ball categories. No. It's no. just, uh, like, I like it when it's, like, the ball ball. I'm like, that's cute. That's, I'm okay with things like that. It's just, it's the bastardization of, of ball culture is just as a whole weird. I like, I, I would have liked this, honestly, if they had just said, we're going to do a look and then maybe the fruity look, because honestly, I didn't like any of the Dairy Queen looks all that much. Like, none of them were, like, phenomenal for me. Um so I would have been like, we do the fruity patootie, and then you make your unconventional look. And I would have been fine if they had just done that, and it had been two looks, and just not called it a ball, <laughs> and just called it a design challenge because that's what it was. Um, I don't know. I I thought it was fine. Fair. It seems like nitpicking, but it, like I don't think there's any ill intention with having this as a ball theme. And I thought I thought it actually turned out to be kind of fun. So. I mean, I honestly that's me. think. I go ahead, Miss Sally. You want to say no, go ahead. Uh, I think if we would, I I, I, I I like the way that they're making different ball, different categories for the ball. Because if we just did the same balls every year, y'all would be complaining about how this is so predictable. This is stupid. Mm-hmm. We get the Met ball all the time. We get this ball all the time, and or the red ball or the what? It's I, I like how they're, I think, innovating new different kind of things like a supermarket ball. No, it's not something we will actually ever see in life ever. Nobody's going to have a supermarket ball. But that's not the case. This is Drag Race. We're supposed to have yeah. things that's wild and crazy and unpredictable and not real life. So a supermarket ball is okay. It's just the theme. And it's like, now do something with it to make it a ball. Here's the yeah. supermarket. Here's the stuff. Make it a ball. So I'm not mad because if they were to come back and say, okay, we're doing another Met ball. Okay, we're going to do another, you know... Um, hair ball. Hair ball. Or, the hair ball. or the sports ball or whatever. Something typical. Because a ball ball is a typical... You, yeah, ball. It's a ball. That makes sense to have a ball ball. That makes sense. I think but, that actually is my favorite ball. I mean, it's cute. It's cute. I get it. I would love that. I love to see it. But like something out of the ordinary of a supermarket ball, I think it's just a way of them to trying to keep it fresh and trying to so it's not the same. So I get it. I didn't hate it. Lana officially sounds like a gay. She said sports ball. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I mean, I like the sports. I I, I do sports too. balls. I do too. I love the sports. Of it all, <laughs> Mr. Talented, you were gonna say, darling. Nah, I was just gonna say, um, I don't mind it because you know, at some point with all these seasons, they are gonna run out of ideas. You know, soon from now, we're gonna get a soap ball, we're gonna get a bedroom ball, like we're gonna get these weird. Ooh, balls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to I'm to have a kick you. <laughs> <laughs> they are running out of ideas, but I mean. Yeah. It is what it is. It's still enjoyable, you know? I so. I still want to see a nature ball. I think that... No, I agree. I agree That's that. one that I haven't seen, and I'm like, that would be really fun, because you could do, like, one, like, forest... Lo- you could do, like, a forest look, a water look, and then, like, a unconventional materials, and I think that would be really... Elements ball. Ooh. Ooh. That would require four, then, but I honestly wouldn't be mad at it. I mean, you could tell pick one. Pick or, yeah, pick, or you three, pick, three, like, of the three, three of the four. Well, okay, to be fair, they did something similar when they did your astrological sign, and then everyone had the same astrological sign. I mean, so if they're going to do that, then we need to make sure that people are... Well, it was are... their astrological sign, so... Right, it could be any astrological sign. Uh, sure. Like, you talking to me like I knew that they did the astrological but, sign. But, like, we saw, like... Uh, no, and I know you didn't. <laughs> um, I'm just saying, like, we saw three rams on that runway. I don't need to see three rams again. Like... <laughs> Fair. And none of them were good. <laughs> well, so, but this ball overall, I thought was I thought it was a really strong ball. It really was. Um, so we have the um, legendary queens, fruity patootie, and supermarket supermodel, which is our unconventional supermarket materials look. 
design challenge look. Mm-hmm. I love an unconventional challenge because I love a Project Runway, runway unconventional mm-hmm. challenge. Yeah, we're Project Runway, which I love. So it's like the just... one show that I feel like we should cover and we don't. I would be all about covering Project Runway. Absolutely, me too. I just want to say that now. <laughs> Can we go back and watch the original season? Yes! Of Project- yes! I've never Designers. seen any of them, so... <laughs> Designers. I will yeah. just do my Santino, my Santino as Tim Gunn impression the whole season. Yeah. Designer. You have to take care of Andre. Make it work. Make it work. Make it work. Make it work. Oh, oh, oh. I, I, I have to take no, Tim Gunn out of my repertoire of Snatch Game characters for when I get on Drag Race Season 22. Because <coughs> Marsha did it so well on Season 15. Mm-hmm. That part. But, yeah. Honestly, mm-hmm. I'm down. <laughs> so no. Like the good original season. And then like the first season of Project Runway All Stars when it was oh, good. Yes. Okay. That's uh, happening. That's coming soon. I don't know when, but that's that's coming, coming soon. Mm-hmm. Um honestly, I will say I was a little bit worried about the unconventional materials section of this because yeah. Most of these people do not have good reputations uh, for looks they made. I would say well, maybe mm-hmm. other than Jimbo and Jessica, mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. the others kind of flopped in theirs, or they well, didn't get like, that. Part. I remember, I remember Jessica's gone with the window because I, uh, I love Morgan, but I do think Jessica should have won the first challenge of season two. Um, I, I really, really enjoyed her, her look, and then I would say as well, like Jimbo. Was well, Jimbo weird. went home on a ball. On Canada season one, so should have won episode one. And then she won the ball on UK versus on the world. UK versus the world, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but then we get people. We get there's a lot of people who have are doing a ball for the first time. Like the, that's kind of the narrative of this whole thing. Like Jessica never did a ball. James never did a ball. Tasha never did a ball. Um, Lala certainly did a design challenge. <laughs> And oh boy, we heard all about it the whole damn episode. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I hope I hope they did do the redemption runway, and I hope we get to see it. And I, we all know she will do the bag look, but mm-hmm. um, just waiting for it. Yeah, I'm I'm just waiting for it at this point. But otherwise, like, not much happens other than. You know, we get a whole lot of screen time from Mrs. Kasha Davis, and just the writing was on the wall. I was like, oh no, they're giving her screen time. Let's just go through these looks, because this is very sad. (laughs) This is for me. Uh, I I want to acknowledge guest judge Jojo Siwa. Yes. I love this woman. Truly, genuinely love this woman. Me too. And she just turned 20, so happy birthday, Jojo. Like, two days ago. So, happy birthday, darling. Mm-hmm. Oh, bye, David. Bye, David. Um, my reaction to Jojo, she was, great, she's there. I'm a, like, I don't have to. I mean, I think she's a lovely person. Great woman. I grew up watching her on Dance Mom, so I'm. Yeah, fan. I mean, I watched Dance yeah. Moms too. So <laughs> it was yeah. always it was JoJo and Nia. Those were always my oh, yeah. those yeah. are my girls. And then um, Kalani, I love Kalani. Kalani. She's from Arizona, so of course I love Kalani. Yeah, Kalani and <laughs> JoJo were my favorites, and I was like, all of them got done were wrong, so I was very upset. All of them, all of them. But okay, I've heard tea about certain things. I can't say anything about, but. Be on the lookout on the horizon for things involving mm-hmm. dance moms. That's all I'm gonna say on that. Oh, um, uh, kill it. Oh. It's over. Like, let's just cut it. <laughs> like <laughs> it's been what eight seasons? All those traumatized kids, like, we don't need it anymore. Let's just say there's no Abby involvement. Let's say that. Oh, let's just save it to after we're off the air. I'm saying too much. Okay, so I Mm -hmm. I hope David gets back actually, but because he made us a spreadsheet this time to do the ball because he's an actual darling, (laughs) so I don't have to do any math in my head this time. (laughs) Come on, on, I do appreciate David for that. So, if you are unfamiliar with how we judge a ball here at the cup. 
we're going to judge each one of the looks according to our normal standard of uh, judgments, zero to 100. If it's overflowing, it's still 100. Um, and then we are going to average the first two looks and add that to the score from the third look, meaning that the third look will constitute 50% of the score, and the first two looks will constitute 25% each of the rest of the uh, score. You just missed it, David. I gave you a compliment. And I'm never going to do it again. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but you missed it. So. Sorry, my internet uh, went out because of my roommate's cat. Good. Yep. It good. happens. He knocks down the router. Wow. Mm -hmm. Good. These are dull cats do. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to score everything. We're also going to score the fame game looks, though. I have a pretty good feeling that I know who is going to be the better of the two among the fame game looks. So that's not going to, they obviously didn't make a third look. So we only are going to judge their two looks. So with all of that being said, we are going to dive in to category number one, which is legendary Queens. And we are starting with Jessica Wilde. I love this. Iconic. It's so I agree. Good. Yeah, I really like this look. I thought she looked fantastic. The only thing missing is a big giant spoon in her right hand. And oh, this, yeah. would have, this would have been everything. Mm -hmm. I want a spoon fascinator. Oh, that would have been good. A giant spoon on her head. Mm. Yeah. Just yeah, the spoon. Right. Just the yeah, spoon. I do but, like it. It's it's pretty literal, but it still is a lot better than most of the other looks. So I can't complain too much. But yeah, I like the color. Uh, it's a good addition there. Yeah. Also for context, like this was the last look, I think. But well, one of the last looks that one of the last, one of the last one was, and that involved like a milk dress. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And of course, when I saw the cereal, I was like, "This is what I was waiting for." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, her face yeah. looks great. She's giving me Priyanka a lot this season. Oh, she's a okay. Yeah, especially in the previous episode, I wasn't here okay. to talk about it, but she looks so much like Priyanka to me. Work. Um, I'm gonna start off the scores for Miss Jessica Wilde, and I'm gonna be giving her a. <laughs> Um, my cup is full here. I too will give her a ninety because I need the spoon. <laughs> that yeah. Yep. I'll give her a seventy-five. Um, I'll give her a ninety. Work. Next up is Miss Candy Muse. I'm sorry, but today tonight. I'm going to be pleading on a lot of these looks because a lot of them do not meet the category. So, with that being said, mm -mm. Really? A, lot them, a lot of them just wore white garments and thought that it was, was it. No. Thank okay. You. No. Thank you. I do agree with you. However, I don't agree with you with this look. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. I think there's something about the sculptural quality of the neck and of the back. It looks like spilled milk. Right. Yeah, I was I was and gonna say that, that. I really, I really like it for that. I do it absolutely agree with you. Right there right are looks that just are white. I she should have really been crying. Like that would have been perfect if that she was crying. Been just a just a white tear down her face. Yes. That absolutely would have done yeah. it. It looks like toilet paper. <laughs> Where? It, it, like, all that on the back of her looks like just toilet paper. No. It's, it's, um, mm -mm. I'm I mean, really talented on this one. This is just, mm -mm. what hurts her for me is that for those of us watching Espana, we saw something <laughs> similar this season. Somebody was spilt wine, but it looked yeah. a lot better than this does. Uh -huh. I don't hate this. Yeah. I, I do hate the leggings or whatever's going on down there. It looks terrible. 
my biggest issue with her though was how she walked down the, the runway. It was so stiff and awkward. Um, it just, I, I didn't get that choice at all. Uh, yeah, it was overall the look though is fine. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I'm going to give the look a 70. 60. I am pleading. Ooh. 42. <sighs> 30. I can't. Mm -mm. La La Ri. I love this so okay. much. I love so, this. This is the thing. We saw a couple of dairy milk mare, uh, cow people. Mm -hmm. We still seen a couple of cow people on the runway. I oh, think. hello. Uh, hello. <laughs> uh, should, should I do the intro or not? It's Brooke. There you go. <laughs> I was about to say, there's Brooke. Absolutely not interrupting what I was just about to say. <laughs> I am so sorry, Lonnie. You know I would never do that to you intentionally. I'm going to no, 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 no. Let yeah. Brooke introduce themselves. Uh, so, hi, it's Brooke, the Clear College graduate who plays way too much Smash Bros. Just got back from a trip to Canton, Ohio for Chain Grab 2. Didn't place very well, but I did get to commentate a lot of sets, so I hope you guys have fun <laughs> watching that. Um, and I'm currently nursing a blister on my foot from having to walk too much, regardless. Uh, I am repping it for hashtag Team Bitter Bitch today. Um, yeah, we and, did. You know, when you lose somebody you really care about, it stings. And we'll get to it when we get to it. We will. Um, I also I need to ask you mm -hmm. for your scores on two things. You actually got here at a pretty decent time. Uh, can you rewind uh, for the outfits so I can make sure I do not think of the wrong outfit? Yes. So it's yes, going to be Jessica, Jessica and Candy's legendary looks. Uh, this is a 98. I love it so much. No, it's a fucking full. It's great. 10 out of 10. Ooh. Um, this look is immaculate from top to bottom. I love Fruit Loops, so this is great. <laughs> um, and something about the neck piece bothered me. Like, the way it wraps around her neck, I just don't like it. Like, the, the visual of it. But other than that, it looks great. So, it is a 74. A sensible 74. <laughs> <laughs> That's about in line with where we were all at, except for Lana. So... <laughs> Now and we're at Alari. <laughs> Lana, go ahead. I'm so sorry, love. It's, it's okay. So we've seen a lot of a couple of cow looks come down this runway at this time. I feel like this cow look gives me Mary J. Blige cow, like yes. very much like R and B hip uh, diva cow. Uh, it's giving what I wanted to give. I love, I know it's just the leotard, but it's something about the way those boots are fitting with the hat and the, the big hoop earrings is giving me a round the way girl, which I am here for because I love me and around the way girl. It's just like, like I can see this at any costume party thrown in my neighborhood. So I am here for this. I'm loving this. The hat gives me life. I want it. I'm here for it. I like it. Does it give you interesting angular movements? Something Lana? about that shoulder piece. That's just, <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. I, I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah. It's the milk carton purse for me. It's the milk carton purse for me. <laughs> Yeah, I think my only kind of problem with it is I wish those spots were darker. Like, I want those to, to pop, but they're kind of a muted, like, gray with that white. And sure, she's got black on, like, with her her uh, waist there and her boots and hat. But I don't know. I want it all to have extreme contrast. But other than that, I like the shape. I like the shoulder pads. Uh, I really like the wig. Oh, uh, very nifty. It's giving brown cow <laughs> Giving brown that cow, sensation. Gray cow. Brown cow, stunning. Give a sensation. I love them. Um, any other thoughts, or do we want to do scores? Um, it's good. I, I don't really know what else to say about it. Other than that, I love the milk carton purse. I love the Mary J. Blige chat. Uh, wish it was a little bit shorter. If that's what we're going for, I don't know if that was exactly what she was going for, but I love it. Um, what shorter? What was shorter? 
the hat. Like it was a little bit. Oh, I was like, the, uh, I the leotard. <laughs> I was like, do we want the leotard to be shorter? I <laughs> no, the leotard is perfectly fine. I'm talking about the hat. <laughs> just the hat. Decrease the 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 top hat a little bit. Make it a little more okay. fedora ish. Fedora would look really cute with this. I yeah. disagree, but sure. Fair enough. Um, uh, nitpick. Personal sure. opinion. Uh, but the milk uh, carton purse saves it enough anyway. So, ten yes. I'm going to give Lala a 90. Also a 90. I'm cool. Ooh. I say 71. Um, It's a 70. Oh. I'm going to go with an 84. All right. We have to start. We have third. Uh, what is it? 31 more looks. So we're going to be a little bit more concise. And we're we just going to give a comment and a score. Love that. Should we do that up. like at the same time? Give our comment, give our score like we did? Yes. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I'll just go in order. I'll try not to say all of the good things about the looks <laughs> so that everyone has things to say. But, um, oh, and I don't have any yeah. good things to say about this look from Mrs. Kasha Davis. I got it when she said it i don't know why she made the reference that she did a 40 because it's a well constructed on her body i didn't really get much from this because like of course with the whole sour face yes but uh 35. Uh, if i'm going to do what i did for uh for candy, candy news, I am ha I have to for Kasha because this is just a white gown with a ring around the top and the shoulders. So I am pleading once again because I can't. Yeah, I was pretty confused when she came out. I'm like, why is there a ring in the little floppy thing on the other side? But knowing that she's cream and her face is sour, she's sour cream combined. Okay, <laughs> that makes sense. Um, I'll give her a 37. Um, this is just in this is just embarrassing to me. <laughs> embarrassing. Not that. embarrassing. Oh. <laughs> like yeah. she's I'm, I'm I'm just gonna get this white dress and make sour faces. Like <laughs> um she's gonna be the first of my plead giveaway this this night, so I'm gonna have to plead on this. Um you know, as much as I don't think it fits the theme, like, at all, I do like it. I think it looks good on her. Uh, now, is this Mrs. Kasha Davis bias? Probably. I don't give a fuck. She's wearing a gravy dish on the top of her garment. And? <laughs> what does that have to do with anything, bitch? That's what I'm saying. I don't think it has anything to do. I don't think it fits the theme, but it looks good on her. Um, I love the hair. The hair is fantastic, and we must give credit for the hair. Uh, and I think from the shoulders up, not counting what is on the shoulders, she looks great. So for that, I will be giving her a 35 with the note that if it was not fully constructed uh, better, it would be much worse. <laughs> Worse, Dima. Not all of that just for you to give a, lower, a lower score than I did. <laughs> but you're also nicer. <laughs> yes. Kahana Montrees, bitch, she's a cow. Cat, kitty, cat, 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 kitty, cat, 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 cow. Um, I'm going to give her an 82. <clears throat> bitch, I'm a cow. Bitch, I'm a cow. <laughs> bitch, I'm a cow. <laughs> I love that song. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is very cute. Um, love how, like, the crop top is giving. So, um, we'll do 86. Um, yeah, this was actually my favorite of the cow looks. Um, I think it's really sexy. I love the under boob. It's giving me some Kylie Sonique love. Love her hair, her face, everything. This is uh, this is gonna be an eighty-two for me. Um, I'm gonna give her a ninety. Um, I really like the look, but I will say I did get sick of the cow outfits after a while. Nothing to, nothing against Kahana specifically, but just it's giving Night of a Thousand Kimonos again. I just... Ugh. Um, Don't and you I mean Night of a Thousand Cow Monos? <laughs> Good pun. Good pun. I rate it. Thank um, you. 
regardless, nothing against Kahana. I think this outfit is great, but y'all, it's dairy. You can do more than just cow. There's there's many. Oh, you can do goat. You can do goat. Like, like there are many other things that give milk other than cows. Regardless, I would have lived if someone had walked out with goat cheese. I would, <laughs> <laughs> fine. Regardless, uh, this look is a solid 89. No, 92. Okay, you need to be making sure you lock in your scores because <laughs> I'm writing these down for one. So it actually matters. Um, also, La- Lana from the Beyond is giving a 90. Icon. Love you, Lana. From the Beyond. From the Beyond. <laughs> Jimbo! I think this is a marvelous look, but not for the category. Um, but I do still think it's good. I get it. It's just not my absolute favorite for the category. And because of that, I'm going to give her a 69. Uh, nice. <laughs> nice. No, yeah, I, I agree. Like, I, I got, I got the whole milk bubbles thing, but, uh, it's not really, like, it's all right, but it's not like my favorite. Um, it's a 70 for me. So one of my pet peeves is when Michelle says, we didn't get that until you explained it. So what? It's Drag Race. You're able to explain it. That's why I didn't have a problem with Kasha. That's why I don't have a problem with Jimbo with this look. At least for the theme. But I don't think it's her best look. Um, So I'm going to give it a 61. Um, I do get where she was going for with this. Um... It's not her best look. She could have done better. But because I think it works for the category, I'm going to give her a 65. Am I the only one that thinks this look is really ugly? <laughs> <laughs> like I don't think it's flattering by any means, but I think it, there's something about it. It's not well, the best I, picture either. I mean, sure, there's something about a lot of things. That doesn't mean I want to look at it. <laughs> um, Like, sure... I honestly think my biggest problem with it isn't even the category. I think it, like, fits the category. It's not, like, a great fit, but it fits it decently. There's at least a connection that could be made. But, like, I don't know. It just looks so half-assed, honestly. Uh, I don't know who designed this. I'm assuming it was not Jimbo. Uh, But whoever designed this is just not for me. My apologies. So, because of that, I will be pleading the Pomara fifth on this garment, and not on Kasha. No, the hair <laughs> good. The hair looked good. I give points for the whole package, and there's no package to give points. Actually, no. I will be giving this a five because the heel is nice. But like, you need to start choosing <laughs> how the much you you're in. You're giving it, my dear. Also, <laughs> Lana from the Beyond has <laughs> given it a seventy-eight. <laughs> not Lana, not Lana getting purple during this episode. <laughs> yeah, Lana's getting purple. It's fine. Oh, also, I was not on for episode two, uh, but just in case no one got it, Nasha Lopez is the first recipient of the purple marker for the season. So there you go, Nasha Lopez. Ten out of ten. <laughs> anyway, Heidi in closet, bitch. This bit, bitch. My cup is full. That's all I have to say. No, I love this so much. Like this is like this. Um, it was supposed to be Milkman, right? Yes. <clears throat> no, yeah, but in in this like interpretation, I just love it so much. Um, also full. Yeah, I am not quite as high on it. I do really like this. Um, one of the best looks of this category. Uh, but I kind of wish there was more to it than there is. I'll give it a seventy-seven though. Um, it's cute. The only thing that bothers me is the um, like, it's like she's padded and then it comes down and her legs are so slim. So when I look at it, it just looks like this is not to shade anyone, but it just looks like a woman who has a poorly done BBL. She skipped leg day. And what's wrong with that, Mister Talented? <laughs> <laughs> but. Oh, Other than that, this is great. I'm gonna give her a 95. Um, this is definitely, unless I'm forgetting something very obvious, this is my favorite dairy look. 
uh, from the ball. I think this is just super clever. I mean, not even clever. I just think it's a really good idea. Um, you know, it's not a cow, and that gets major points for me. Um, so, <laughs> you know, um, uh, honestly, I don't give out too many of these, but my milk carton be running over. Work, Diva. Oh, uh, and Lana from the Beyond has given this a 98. Icon. <laughs> now have two from the Beyond, but it's okay. James Mansfield, she's got cookies and she's putting them in the milk. <laughs> All I wanted was just, I understand that like the, the dress is supposed to be milk. I just wanted like something, I wanted like a glass of milk so, so she can put the cookies in the, I don't know. <laughs> No, I got what you meant. I got what you meant. I, yeah, um, I still think it's. I think it's really well done. Um, I'm gonna give James an 88. It's the it's the cookie clap for me that just made it like so like good for me. So good. <laughs> like I was just like, oh, that's cute. The cookie clap. Um, this is a 90 for me. Um, I'm gonna give her an 85. Once again, James's wigs always on point. Um, you know, when you sell wigs, you should make sure yours look good. Um, I love the concept. I was also hoping for a bit of an item moment, uh, you know, similar to like a, a silky lip sync with the uh, wet bar or any of that. Just like reach out, maybe even have like a little like a bag of something. I don't know, but you could have done a little bit enough to give us like the, the illusion of the dip in the side. I just would have loved it. Um, for me, it is a 95. For me, I, I just didn't like the execution very much on this. I like the concept though, but it was just a little awkward overall. I'm going to give it a 35. Damn. Um, and I do not know what Lana from the Beyond has given this because she has not revealed her score. Um, so I will just go ahead and move along here. <clears throat> to Alexis Michelle. <sighs> this is a garment made of materials <laughs> that is on, on her on body. Her body. <laughs> I... No. <laughs> Vintage? No. No, but because it's a well-executed garment, I'm still going to give it a 65. But I just don't love it for the category. I mean, I will say, like, it's it's giving literal cow, which, like, this is Bitch, this has a she's tail. She's a cow. Mm -hmm. No, literally. Like the ears, the tail, the everything. Just missing the udders, but um I still like it though, but I, I get what you're saying. This is like eh. I do love the um bandana though. So I'm giving this a seventy-five. Um I'm gonna give her a fifty. It's a cow. I don't like the repetitiveness of the cow. Uh, it is my least favorite cow that I remember from this episode. It's a fucking pantsuit. Or, like, I'm sorry, what about this is good? I don't get it. I like the purse. I, that's about it. I like the purse, and I like the heel. This gets, like, a fucking 25 yeah, I think this was definitely the worst of the cow looks. Um, man, I just, I wish it was like a better fit on her. And I don't know, she, the ears, they're, they're putting me off a bit too. So I'm going to give this one, hmm, a 42. Uh, update, we have received Lana's scores from the beyond. Um, she's given James a 60 and, and I quote has given Alexis a 50. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of new, yes. 
That was a great joke, Lana. Darian Link. This, I thought, was a really cool concept. However, it's a white dress. And so because of that, <laughs> um, I'm going to give her a 50 because it's a white dress. No, I agree because, like, even like I, I, I really agree with the judges' critiques with this, and it's like it's a little too much, and for me, like I, it's it gets supposed to be dripping milk, but it's still a little too much. Mm -hmm. Like, um, I would have loved the like the dress itself go to the ankle, not like to the floor, but um, um, I'm also gonna give this a fifty. It's too much for Brandon. It's not enough for me. There's just uh it's just like white cloth draped around her and it's not fitting well. And I think she she kind of lost what she was going for. I, I believe somebody said it was too low and you can really see the drip. So I'll give it a twenty nine. Yeah, this is not enough for me. Um Yeah, um She's going to get my second plead for the night. Ooh. Um, I honestly don't really know how I feel about this look. I mean, on the one hand, it is a white dress, but also a Alexis <laughs> Michelle wore a fucking pantsuit, and we're okay with that. Um, Like, again, I'm a Darian Link stan, unapologetically, so I cannot pretend like I will be unbiased in my critiques. You um, had a really bad episode this week, didn't you? Oh, I really did. All I needed was the <laughs> bottom three. It would have been the worst. Um, I mean, you also had a very bad week this week. Let's not let's not lie. I sure did, Muma. <laughs> um, but I love you, Darian. I love you, Dow. And you get a five for the wig, Queen. I'm sorry. Great. Uh, update from the beyond. Lana has said, and I quote. White fabric, boo! <laughs> Please, not worth the rating. So, God, I love you, Lana. Oh, I was wondering what PPF meant. Plead the Plead the tomorrow fifth. fifth. Okay. And now for the fame game looks. First up, Montica Beverly Hills. Is 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 is. is. I'm so sorry to a girl that's already out of the race. I will be pleading because this does not make sense to me in the slightest. Um, I get what you were trying to go for. However, I do not believe that you achieved what you meant to go for. This is supposed to be melted cheese. And I think it is nothing of the sort. And Wait, someone what? told you that you were fly, hot, and sexy <laughs> or nothing of the sort in this garment. So I will be pleading. No, I agree. Like, um, it's again, I, I get the cheese head block um on the on the head. And but at the same time, like if it were melted cheese, it'd be much more stringier, <laughs> in my opinion. And I didn't think didn't know what the gold meant. So I am also pleading for this. Uh, Lana has also said, what is this? Uh, no, thank you. And <laughs> welcome you. back to the stage, Lana. That, this I don't know what that you. is. I'm sorry. Just not what. <laughs> no, thank you. Like, <laughs> I don't even know you're back. I'm happy you're back, but it has been fun doing a dramatic reading. <laughs> <laughs> White fabric. Boo. <laughs> I will keep typing my comments in the chat, and then you can do the dramatic reading, and then I'll co-sign. Oh, but no, yeah. it's fine. It's fine. It's, yeah, no, it's. I didn't even know what that was until you said it's supposed to be cheese. I'm it's like, supposed to be cheese. Mm -hmm. No, thank you. Absolutely not. Sorry. Yeah, I didn't realize it was cheese until she explained it. I was like, why is it gold? But right. I actually, as a look, I do not hate this. I think um, it's a cool texture on her bodysuit. It's not just a basic texture like we usually see um she looks sexy um yeah i'll, I'll give it a 40 call okay. me crazy i will crazy. <laughs> um, she's getting my third pleat of the night 
Mm-hmm. You get a plead. You get a plead. You get a plead. <laughs> I would really like to point out that Lana has, Lana has put on four looks so far. So that's very fun. Everybody gets the plea tonight because that's, <laughs> that's nice. Yes. Wow. And we see Brooke score in the oh, chat. Yes. Brooke, uh, from, Brooke from the Beyond um, is also pleading. So the only person that, the, that gave us a score was David. Yep, I'm really bringing up the average for this look. For once, David has the highest score. <laughs> Revel in it because it's never going to happen again. <laughs> or will it? Especially not with this look from Miss Nasha Lopez. I fucking love this. This is so smart. This is what I wanted to see. This is the glamour that I expected from Nasha Lopez. My cup is full. No, I agree. Like the milk in, like the milk is in the cookies, like everything. I, I should have switched that around. <laughs> the milk is in the cookies. <laughs> Anyways, uh, also the the milk fascinator, like that just says milk. I love it. That's what I wanted to see. Like I wanted it to be dumb and stupid, and that's what I wanted. <laughs> no, yeah, my cup is full here. I like this. I actually, this is giving the spilt milk aspect that I think. Others was trying to give, like, um, I'm looking at you, Candy Muse. This was the spilled milk that you wanted to see. You wanted to see the milk is in the hair. The milk is on the body. The milk is on the cookies. The detail, everything about this, and the sheer bodysuit, which makes it look like it's just milk spilling off of her body. This is beautiful. I will give this a very high 98. Um, my wife does not speak for me. This is not the milk I want to see. It honestly looks to me like a kid cut out like random shapes of white and put it on a uh, bodysuit. I think Jessica. Dress, thank you very much. Okay. Well, Jessica did this better with her Fruit Loops. This is like her co cookie crisp. But with that said, there there are things I do like it about it. I do like the fascinator. The cookies well, the themselves cookies look good. I just don't like the dress part. So I'm gonna give it a 48. That's low even for me. <laughs> um <laughs> I had to. I had to. Mr. Talented, not, go ahead, guys. It was kind of crazy. Um, yeah, this is what Henry and were trying to do. Um, unfortunately, it didn't turn out well for them. It turned out well for Nisha. Um, this is great. I'm going to give her 95. Now, while I may partially agree with David, I do think that Jessica did this look, the idea of the, like, the dripping milk better. I do not think this look is bad by any means, just to clarify. Um, yes, is she giving cheap-ass cookie crisp? Yes. Is that also on brand with the supermarket ball and the legendary? Also, yes. So I cannot fault her for that. As such, and because she's beautiful, um, yeah. I'm going to give her an 85. And to, to remind people, 50 is average for me. So 48 is just slightly below average. This is below average to you? <laughs> <laughs> this is below okay. average? Apparently. Apparently. American apparently not. And again, I say. <laughs> Delusion. <laughs> Okay. So, friends, there are six of us. We still have a lot of looks to go through. Therefore, we're just going to need to make our things just a little bit more mm -hmm. concise. We don't want to be here for two hours again. We did that before, all six of us. So, we're going to move into the next category. Category is Fruity Ooh. Fruity. Jessica Wild, I love this drink. My cup is overflowing, and I don't give a fuck what anyone else says. No, I agree. Like, this is amazing. Like, 
I just love it. It's the the grape, everything full. It's acai berry. Acai. Oh, even better. Acai. That's the point. The point is that she was drinking a berry acai drink, and she said, "I love this drink." And then she went home when she shouldn't have, and Tatiana should have gone home. I'm so sorry. Mm. <laughs> I thought we were trying to be concise, but yes, this was great. She looked Not great. with this one, Lana. All right. We have our choices. I love it. She looks great. I give it a 95. Brandon, did you pour it on? <laughs> yeah, I would pull. Okay. Yeah, this is a super cute look. Uh, I'm trying not to go too high because I know what we have ahead of us. Um, but yeah, everything worked for this for me. I'll give it a 84. Um, it's okay. Um, it doesn't really excite me that much. I'm not gonna lie. Um, horrible. It's not horrible. Um, I'm gonna give her um an eighty-five. Um, first off, Logan, did you just imply that Jessica Wilde should have stayed over Tatiana after that lip sync? Yes. Choices. Um, regarding Jessica, sh Jessica shouldn't have been in the bottom for that challenge. We'll talk about Agreed. that. Agreed. Agreed. But after the lip sync, mm, regardless, um, I love this outfit. Uh, it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. She looks like Linda Evangelista, etc. Um, she does kind of. <laughs> yeah. Um, it, it's gonna. I'm. I'm holding back some higher scores because again, we know what's ahead. Uh, I'm going to be giving this a 98. Work. Candy Muse wearing basically the same thing she did when we saw her signature drag. Mm -mm. It's fine. It's well constructed. It's not my favorite thing in the world. She's going to be getting a 69. That's fair. Um, I love the nice. cherry fascinator, the cherry like um, stamp on the chest. I love it. Um, this is um eight, well, this will be an eighty five for me because like it's eh. Lana. That's so boring. I am bored. So bored. <laughs> I am so bored with this. Look. <laughs> I'm so bored with this silhouette coming from Candy Muse. I am so bored. I really want to like her. I really want to like give her high scores on this runway, but she is making it very difficult for me to do this. I pleaded once. I'm not going to plead again, but because at least this is a little bit better than the first, I guess. Maybe, possibly. I don't know. I like the hat, so I'll give her 10. I'm so bored. Yeah, there are things I like about it. I I kind of wish that the um the shawl was like cherries as well. Um, but I do like the fascinator. Um, red is her color. I will say, like she pulls it off well. Mm, but I did want more, especially compared to what we saw from a lot of the others. Um, I'll give this a fifty-five. Because it does meet the category, I'm not going to plead. However, this is very underwhelming. I'll make it for 25. Y'all, um, you know, I forgot about this look, to be honest. <laughs> uh, and now that I'm remembering the category it's supposed to be in, I am just now realizing that if she did not have that freaking cherry stamp on her chest and the freaking hat, there's no connection. And that bothers me. Like, the belt. Eh, it just looks like from a distance, it just looks like weird little like droopy things. Um, it doesn't look like cherry, like, sure, it's red, but like, there are plenty of red fruit. Um, and also the boa makes no sense, I don't get it. Um, regardless, I think it's boring, I think she could do much better. I have seen her do much better, so fucking, I'm with you, I'm gonna give it a 10, honestly. All right. <laughs> <laughs> the Lala Re experience. This is cute. This is everything I wanted <laughs> from this category. Lala slayed it. I just wish that the headpiece was a little bit better. I wish it was a little bit bigger and it wasn't like tight to the head. 
That's really the only issue that I have. I get why it is. I just wish it wasn't. Uh, but otherwise, she looks gorgeous. I get the theme. It's going to be a 90 for Lala. I just wish the the caramel drip was more as candy apple. So, but um, I still love this so much. Like the silhouette is everything. Um, Ninety five. Again, I'm bored. <laughs> like bored. <laughs> like I get candy apple. I get it. But like I agree, the, the caramel should drip all the way down. It's a candy freaking apple. If I got a candy apple and the caramel stopped at the top, I'm mad. What the heck am I buying this candy apple for? It's just. I get it, but it's, it needs more. It should be should be oozing with caramel and bored. I'm bored with this look. I give it a ten as well. No, it was better than the other one. I'll give it a fifteen. Still bored. Still bored. Well, I'm just laughing because both Brandon and Lana like basically implied candy apple and caramel apple are the same thing. But I mean, <laughs> they're not the same thing. You know, but they're close. Apple, they're close. Caramel apple. I learned that coming down here. True. Really According to my roommate, this was a peanut butter apple. <laughs> the fuck is a peanut butter apple? <laughs> he thought it looked like peanut butter all over. It looks like peanut butter. I can see why it I does kind of look like, like peanut, peanut butter. butter. No. But I don't hate it. Like I, I liked what she was going for. Uh, it could have been better, yes, but she still looks good to me. So I'll give it a sixty-nine. Nice. <laughs> um, absolutely not. <laughs> For me, this does not meet the category. I'm like candy apple wear. Like, no. Mm -mm, mm -mm. It's literally just a red latex dress with some like five percent caramel on it. Like it should have went all the way down. Like, come on. Like, um, I'm a plead, honestly. Like, mm -mm. You want me to be honest? You know what bothers me more than anything on this outfit? It's not even the caramel. It's literally the fact of that freaking stem at the top that's coming out of her head. Because that is irritating me so much more. Because it implies that when you dunk it, because, you know, most people when they dunk a fucking apple, they dunk the bottom in first, <laughs> right? So it's implying that somebody decided to dunk this apple upside down, and that bothers me. <laughs> Like it's it's pulling up my OCD in the worst way. Oh, that's a good point. Um, <laughs> regardless, uh, my biggest problem with the actual outfit though is the fact that the freaking dress doesn't touch the floor, and that is a major no no for me. Um, when it's that low, like if it's meant to be a shorter outfit, sure, but when it's that close to the ground, touch the ground, you're right there. Um, but it does look good on her, and I do think it fits the category, even if the execution was poor. So, forty eight. I hate it, but it's well constructed. But I hate it. Forty-eight. <laughs> yeah, I hate it. It's well constructed, but I don't like it. Again, forty-eight. Mrs. Kasha Davis in the single best thing she's ever worn on Drag Race. My <laughs> cup is full, and I'm so happy I can finally say that. I agree. None like... of her other looks warrant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like banana showgirl. Everything. My cup is full. She looks good. I give her an eighty. Yeah, this is great. I really like the banana shoulders. I like the pattern of the dress. Uh, yeah, this is what I was really hoping to see from Kasha. I'm gonna give it an eighty. Yeah, this is the best she's ever looked on this show. I'm gonna give her an eighty-five. Um, you know, I really love it. I love the banana of it all. Um. And honestly, the only other thing that I really like even more than this is her fucking Clemsonian Airways outfit. I don't know why. But, <laughs> um, yeah, this is great. This is fucking full. Cool. And she should not have been in the bottom for this look alone. But fight me. Baby, she should have been. You, baby. baby, she should have been at the bottom. I'm gonna I fight. Say, I will fight you, baby. Because I will fight. I we will fight. You. When the scores reveal themselves, everyone. <laughs> That's say, why I we do this. I'm about to say who all agrees that she deserves to be on the bottom? Show of hands. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And I love her yeah. down. Yeah. But, I say, love her, but no, this, this one look could not save you. 
that Montreal. was that and was everybody also, but Brooke, by the way, for the right, Spotify by listeners the way, like myself. Audio, everybody but Brooke. <laughs> yes, <laughs> thank you, thank you for acknowledging the audio listeners exist, aka David Healy. Tahana's <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> banana look was also very good. Mm-hmm. I was not mad at this banana look. I'm happy we saw this banana look before Kasha's banana look. Um, I think Kahana looks great. I'm gonna give her a 90. No, I love this concept because like literal banana and even with the wig like it mm-hmm. just is perfect um 96 first of all this look is perfect beyond perfect this is like the best look that she had so to me like you are i mean for in this runway in this i was runway. about to say ma'am her signature drag exists ma'am uh, her neck all, exists. We, i'm talking about i go by episodes i don't go by history because yes, that's y'all thing i don't do history because i don't have history no i'm literally talking about the other two looks she presented on the runway this i'm not talking about history this particular runway i thought this was one of her the best look on the runway for her i love this because that is very much literally the banana from head to toe i enjoy it i love it i love the banana earrings the banana that matches the banana buttons that her dress looked like a banana peel, even when it's a little rotted. I, I, come on. You cannot go wrong with this one. My cup is full her. Yeah, you didn't, actually, you didn't have to put this right after Mrs. Kasha Davis. That wasn't right. But I no. didn't realize it. It was, <laughs> it was Instagram's ordering yeah. of the, the first looks. Also, shout out to Wow Presents Plus UK because they're the ones that actually posted these photos. <laughs> so, thank you, Wow Presents Plus UK. I mean, I think Kahana could have just done like a yellow banana shape thing, but she wanted that to look like an actual banana. You got some discoloring, some brown. It's getting pretty ripe now. You've got those golden bananas holding it all together. You got the B-52s type of hair going up. And you even got a little bit chocolate sprinkled around with that beautiful skin. This is an all-time look for me. My cup is full. All-timer. Oh, Mr. Chalk <laughs> is going to the great beyond. Oh, he's back. <laughs> no, I'm here. I'm here. Yes, I love this. I love the, the rotten banana of it all. Um, the only thing that bothers me is just the hair. Like, I like that it's an updo, but it just looks like two separate wigs. <laughs> yeah, it, it just looks like two separate wigs. It just looks like she got the updo and then put it on the other wig. That's my only issue. But other than that... Sorry, I'll let you have your piece. No, nah, you're fine, you're fine. But other than that, I'm going to give her a 96. I'm going to give her a 96. This is your moment. Have it. Okay, sorry. I, I love both of them. Sorry. Uh, regardless, I'm going to be honest. I know I'm going to get read to shit for this. It's fine. I don't get the like the high praise that she's been getting for this look. It's, it's good. It's like an average ball look, and I don't get anything more than that. Um, I agree with Mr. Talented's critique about the wigs. I think the wigs look kind of awkward. To The wig looks like it's in two separate pieces, even though it's not. Um, I like the gloves. I like, like, the texture of the outfit. But honestly, it just kind of feels underwhelming, especially compared to Mrs. Kasha Davis, who had a better look, in my opinion. Oh, my God. Um, oh my God. Oh my God. So <laughs> I'll be giving this a 70 can I just say real quickly, like, I like that you can actually see that it's hair and it's not just the upper part that like kind of grounds it. So you still know it's a wig. So I like the two different textures there. I, I, I feel that was a little bit of bias coming from you, Brooke, but you know, I love that was, I mean, I mean, and that's fine, but I'm just saying the fact that you had to just said that look is better. Kasha wore it better. So banana is like, in what planet, what universe, but it's your opinion, <laughs> and I respect it. To be I don't fair, agree with it, but I respect it. <laughs> to be fair, half of us did score Kasha higher than Kahana. So it's not just Brooke. I also scored Kasha higher than Kahana. No, same. Me but too. I, and so did Brandon. But I think both looks are phenomenal. Yeah, they're like this is a, not a bad look at all. I just think it kind of got lost for me in the runway a little bit. Um, 
and remember, it's a ball. There are what we said, thirty-one looks to go through. There are thirty-four looks that we're covered. Looks. Today. Like, there's a lot. There's a lot of outfits. If this was a solo runway, I'd probably have a higher opinion of it. Um, but you know, it is what it is. I think what it is. I think because Kasha has never looked better than how she looks, it put on a little bit more excitement for it. Yeah. I you know, think I will absolutely say that that's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> I think that's yeah. right. I'm Good trying advice. to hold the same standard for I'm everybody, about to say this, but it's, it can be difficult. I can't help this. I do it think better, but this I absolutely looks better. <laughs> both looks are good. We're moving on <laughs> to Jim, though. I think that this is a lovely garment. I think this is one of the best things Jimbo has ever worn on Drag Race. I do not like this for the category at all. I get what she's going for. However, most of the people on her dress are cis straight women. Women. If you're going to do fruity patootie, for me, it needs to be covered in queer icons and not just fabulous women. I don't get why shares on there. I don't like there were a couple choices that I didn't like. I like that Divine was on there, but like there needed to be more queer people in order for this to feel correct. But I do like the garment and I think she looks really good. So overall, I'm gonna give her a 69. Nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I agree. Like, um, I mean, I also see Marsha P. Johnson, so that's... Mm -hmm. Oh, is Marsha in there? Yep. Okay, good. Because it a was couple, Mar a Marsha, times. Cher, Divine, and RuPaul, I think. Correct, mm -hmm. which is yes. not mostly straight cis women. Yeah, then I guess my, my statement is invalid. It's your opinion. That's not Tiffany. Well, no, 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 the statement is invalid. Me saying it's mostly cis straight women is not a correct statement. Well, your opinion on it, if it's the category or not, is what I was implying. True. Absolutely, and I still have the same opinion, but... Mm -hmm. No, I agree. Like, um, I love the outfit, but um, I get it's the different type of fruity people. But mm, I, I would have thought to like do actual fruit, but still love it. But um, gonna give this an eighty. I didn't get the look. I didn't understand it until they started talking about it, and I was like, "Oh, is this supposed to be a okay?" I am not a part of the queer community, so I don't know all these people. I don't. I know Cher. I thought the person in the green lipstick in, on her chest was Tiffany Pollard. That's how I'm way off I am because I thought that was New York. I'm like, why does she have New York mm -hmm. on her shirt? I'm, I'm like, pretty this. sure it's Cher. No, in the green lipstick right there on she, her head. She has her in multiple. Spots. No, above above Cher, above Cher. That's uh, Marsha uh, P. Johnson. Yeah, that's Marsha P. Johnson. Okay, see, I didn't know who that was. Oh yeah. So I thought that was Tiffany Pollard. So that's why I'm like, for those who are who don't know these people, it just seems it just seemed like I knew Cher and I saw RuPaul. And I was like, oh, okay, so you put Cher and RuPaul on your dress to get some points because RuPaul is on the dress. I don't know. Um, I didn't get it. I didn't understand it. I don't think it fits the assignment. Fruit. So honestly, I ten. I'll get it. I think I'm kind of the opposite of Logan here. I, I actually kind of like the the look for the theme. Like I, I like that Jimbo thinks out of the box. And these are a lot of people that are considered fruity. It's pretty clever. She explained it. I don't have any problems with that. Um, I do not think this is one of the best looks Jimbo's had, though. Mm -hmm. Um I just knowing how quirky she is and I love some Jimbo like in case I haven't made it clear Jimbo is my favorite on this cast um, so I was just a little disappointed with it overall I'll still give it a 56 um, I think it's good um, I like that she thinks outside the box and I'm not gonna <clears throat> I'm not gonna cut her any slack because it's not a literal fruit because she didn't know it was going to be a supermarket ball. She just saw on the paper, fruity patootie and said, this is what I'm going to do. Fruity people. So <clears throat> I like the thinking. 
I don't think it's the one of the best things she ever won, but do I think if it's the category, I do. Um, it's cute. I'm gonna give her a 75. Um, first off, when she rounded the corner and they hadn't like shown the faces like very clearly, like it was zoomed out the whole body shot that they do. The first thing I thought of was fucking that like nineties fruit stripe gum, <laughs> right? Like the color palette is perfect for that. That would have been so yeah. good. Uh, but I, I know that's not what she was going for, but that's what I got. And I, I love it a little bit more just because of that. Um, I feel like I'm a nice middle ground between Logan and David here. Uh, I do think this is one of my favorite things Jimbo has ever worn on the runway. Uh, however, I also like the concept. Uh, I mean, you have three queer people and arguably one of, if not the absolute biggest gay icon of all time when it comes to Cher. Like, the queer community loves her to death. Um, and sure, Cher is straight, but like, you know, it, it, as far as we know. Uh, and I don't know. I, I feel like Cher is kind of like the one we invite to the party, if that makes any sense. Uh, if sure. we invite, yeah. So I don't know. I really like it. I love the hair. I think the hair stands out in the best way. Uh, so for me, there's going to be a 95 for me. <laughs> Heidi looks so good. This is so good. Oh, I love her. My cup is full. I love Heidi. Strawberry. Work bitch. <laughs> no, I agree. Like it's the the hips and everything that makes it look uh, mm -hmm. my cup is also full here. I like the pants. Give me hammer pants any day. I love it. Um she looks good. I will say a 95. Yeah, this is so cute. I really like the pants. Um, it kind of reminds me of that strawberry candy that comes in like the strawberry. Yes, I know wrapper. exactly what you're yeah. talking about. Mm -hmm. They're my favorites. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm ready to take a bite of her. I really like the banshee hair too. Um, this is probably my favorite Heidi look I've seen from her, period. So I'm going to give this a 91. Yeah, <clears throat> I like it. Um, for me, I just feel like the pants stops at a weird length. Like the cut of it just looks weird. But um I'm gonna give her a 95. Um, I love the inverted strawberry shortcake palette here. <laughs> uh, you know, with the pink instead of the pink, it's great to have done. Um, don't need to go into detail if you are not a strawberry shortcake fan, as <laughs> I was when I was a child. Uh regardless, this is definitely up there in terms of Heidi looks for me. I still think her promo trounces this, but like it's still great. Um, like, give it a 98. I think this is the first look that we've all scored over 90. Oh, wow. <laughs> look at us. Rightfully so. Well, it's mostly it's, David, if I'm being honest. But <laughs> that's, no shame. that's just David's scoring mechanism. But James Mansfield, I think that the concept of this is great. I love that she chose Lemon. The execution is just not there for me personally. I think the wig is fine. The breasts are fine. I get what she was going for with the squirting lemon juice. It just doesn't look good for me and it looks cheap. And I don't like that there's the start of garters, but then with nothing attached to it. Um, so because of that, I'm going to be giving James a 70. <clears throat> seeing the lemon wet like slices looks more so like wheels to me than actual lemons mm -hmm. that's just me but um but i get what she was trying to do um so for me 65 okay is that a shadow i'm seeing on her arm is that just the shadow of the yes lemon? it is okay cool I was about to say on the left arm yes yeah this is a shadow of the the little the thingy, thingy. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Yes. um then it's okay. It's nothing. It's not like horribly, horribly bad. It's just not horribly, horribly great either. It's just, eh, it's okay. I will give it a, I will give it a 58. Yeah. So I just, um, a couple days ago, rewatched the premiere of UK versus the world and lemon actually on the runway has a look where she also has the lemons for her boobs, but they're, 
half concealed behind a dress. And I thought Lemon really pulled it off. I'm a little bit disappointed with James here. I did not get that that was juice until you said that. Um, but yeah, it, it just feels like it feels like a first season look, not an all star look. Um, I'm going to give it a 40. Um, this feels like a design challenge look. Like, mm-hmm. I don't think. Not I'm, I'm convinced she made this the night before. Like, she did not bring this from home and thought this. And thought she should have been the top because she did say so in answer that she she thought she would have been the top five. Um, 50. You know, as the president of the James Mansfield fan club, uh, I will say, not my favorite look she's ever wore. However, I will say I do like the fact that she is, like, fully embraced something other than the box she put herself in on season nine with her fashion it's very different for her so i'll give her that body. yeah body audi audi she look she looks like in terms of like her shape and the way she is thin she looks great uh i love her hair mm, i love the lemon good boobs. And, and, and i do like the lemon boobs like moment i'm here for it so i will give her a 65 because it's still at the end of the day corset with some panties that's not a look. <laughs> so I did look this up. It is a designed um look, not not like made. So oh. well then good. Good for her. Well, anyway. Julie. <laughs> Alexis Michelle. I'm of two minds about this because I definitely feel like this was a gown that she already owned. However, I do like it for the category, and it's obviously a very well-constructed and gorgeous garment. I wish that the blueberries on the dress stood out more. And if the base is going to be this dark blue, I want the blue, even though it's not natural, I want the blueberries to be like a bright blue or something. I just wish they stood out a little bit more. Um, But overall, I do think this is a really good look. Um, I'm going to give Alexis an 85. Yeah, if the blueberries actually, like, popped out of the dress, I would have loved this a lot more. Um, but I do love the um, the headpiece for it. Um, but really love this gown. I love this gown. Um, this is the 90 for me. Beautiful gown. Beautiful gown. Um, I feel like... The blueberries look like splots. It's like she spilled something on herself. It doesn't look like blueberries. It just looks like she spilled something. And it's just soaking into the fabric. It's it's a gown. It's I guess it's the ball. So it's a ball gown if it's the ball thing. But it's am I wild? Am I excited? No. It's just a gown. It's 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 a gown. So I'm going Is it to a gown? It. It's a gown. <laughs> I'll, I'll give it a I'll give it a 50 it's a gown <laughs> yeah I have never been big on Alexis um, I think a lot of her looks are pretty generic she loves to go for gowns and a, a very typical shape for her for this I do not see fruit as much as I do with most of the others with all of that said when she walked out I gasped this is a gown, but it is the best gown I've seen on Drag Race since Sugar Cane in that purple gown. This is a 95. That is high This is a beautiful gown. <clears throat> um, okay. I agree with Lana. I do agree <laughs> Like blueberry on the dress, <laughs> we are. I'm only seeing blueberries in the here. I'm not even seeing the ones on the dress. Like, you know? Um 50. Um, you know, Logan mentioned something earlier about uh the blueberries like not being like if it was a lighter color, it wouldn't be like the right shade. Blueberries are not that dark. Like, sure when they're like mushed down and like pasted or something like that they're like darker but the outer color is like a lighter blue 
that would have contrasted really <coughs> well with this. The blueberries on this shit look like fucking Nightlock from the Hunger Games. Um, and sure, they're berries, they're poisonous, but you know, whatever. Um, honestly, I'm with a lot of Mr. Talented. <laughs> um, I think it's boring. Uh, sure, the gown looks great, but like, very clearly, it has been edited to fit a challenge uh, that I really don't think it fits that well to begin with. Uh, I like the headpiece. I like the wig. I think she looks really great from the neck up. Uh, and I like the princess glove moment going on here. I can't tell if they're gloves or like a shoulder thing. Um, so the score is? Oh, I'm getting there. Thank you. Um, the score is going to be a 48. Y'all are crazy. I agree. You know it's you know it's a crazy it, you know it's a wild look when David has the highest score. <laughs> I mean, we, we all have bad we have bad choices sometimes, David. Absolutely. Not. Lake, this was cute. The 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 I thought. Don't you start with me, okay? It's not the best thing she's ever worn, and the wig is bad, but. The coat was fine, and then she pulled it off, and I was like, okay, Darian, work that new body. Bitch, I oh, hate you. Oh, <laughs> you I over there. Fun. You over there, I hate you. Um, I still don't think it's the best thing she's worn, and I don't think it's amazing. I'm going to give her a 75, because the body looks good. Enough. The padding could have been better, but... It's one of the few banana splits that I was very surprised that was like, okay. Um, like the way that she split, I was like, okay, fine with it. So, but love the cherry um, whipped cream things, which lo love it. Um, however, yeah, I agree. Not the best thing Darian's worn, um, but give that body um, 80. Go ahead, Lana. Okay. When Darian walked out, I was like, oh, fruit cocktail. Perf. Great. That's that's the theme. It's beautiful. It's fruit cocktail. I love it. Then she tore it open and was like, nope, it's a banana split. And I was like, bitch, where? Like, why? Like, who? Why? Why are we doing Sure, show off the body because your body's body and you, you lost all your weight. You're looking good. You're feeling yourself. Feel yourself. I am here for that. But baby, this bodysuit is not it. Like, it's just, I I, I understand the whip. Like, I would have rather it have been a yellow bodysuit, like steel bananas or I don't, I, I don't know. I just, hmm. the wig is a mess. It's just, uh, girl, I would have rather you kept the dress on and been fruit cocktail, and I would have been okay with it. Like, you, mm, she get. Mm, I gotta judge this. I will judge it. I will give it a score because I will not do another plea because I really want to, but I'm not. I'm going to give it a twenty five. It's okay. It's it's it's. Okay. I I applaud you for showing off your body. That's about it. Okay. Yeah, so I actually did not like this when she before she did the reveal. I didn't think it looked good, um, and then she did the reveal, and I liked it even less. Um, but I notoriously do not like uh, like skin tone bodysuits, like nude illusions. I do not like those, and also everything in the crotch area just seemed to be getting lower and lower and lower as she walked. Um, Chris Evans did it better in not another teen movie. Um, I'm going to give this a 19. I just oh, really... Yeah, Mr. Talented. Yeah, I, I really like her, you know. Like, I honestly do. I'm really glad that she is here. You know, I love rooting for the older queens. Um, <laughs> This wig... This wig is unforgivable. The bodysuit. The, the placement of these cherries, that lower one just does something to me. I can't explain. Like, it makes her look, okay, it makes the bodysuit look long, but then she's also short. 
Like, I just, like, every time I've seen it, I've seen it multiple times since it aired. Every time I've seen it, I'm like, I don't know how to explain it because she looks tall and short at the same time. I just, I just don't get it. Um, <laughs> and then the banana on the behind too, like, that really didn't save it. I'm not going to plead because it does fit the category, you know. But it's a 10. Tens across the board, definitely. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all know I love Miss Darian. You know, that will probably never change. She is one of my favorite people that have ever been on Drag Race. Uh -huh. Honey. <laughs> Honey. <laughs> no. Just no. Um, first off, I hate bodysuits on principle. I think they are the laziest thing you can possibly do on this show. Even lazier than a corset. Because at least with a corset, you have to cinch. All you have to do with a bodysuit is zip it up. This is so lazy. Darian, I know you're not a fashion queen, but when, you, when you're supposed to be a comedy queen, it's supposed to be like that and something else. You know? Like, like you can't just... Like, just like people can't rest on pretty, you can't rest on comedy. Um, and... I like the wig. I, I don't agree with that, but everything else is just... This is honestly in contention for the worst thing I have seen Darian wear on Drag Race, other than her entrance look on season six. Um, so this is going to be a... Uh, God, I hate this. I'm pleading the Pomara fit. <laughs> of all no, the people pleading on this look, damn. I felt bad when I was talking because I'm like... <sighs> I'm sorry, Brooke. I wanted to be apologizing to you. No, I get it. Because, like, again, I will defend my queens till kingdom come. But if I honestly do not like a look, I will not go back. And I don't like this look at all. I love you, Darius. <laughs> <But> <laughs> Let's move on to our uh, fame games queens, starting with Montica Beverly Hills. Is, 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 who claims to the audience that she is a mango tree. However, somebody told her that she was fly, hot, and sexy. And unfortunately, in this look, she is nothing of the sort. I think this is bad. I think this is a brown garment with a semblance of... Le it looks more like a lemon tree than it does a mango tree. I thought that's what it was. No, it's mango. She said mango. Um, unfortunately, because if it was a lemon tree, I think I actually would have scored this garment. However, um, I am actually going to give it a score because I do think it fits the category. Uh, and that score today is going to be a seven. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I also, oh, I'm so sorry. I also amended my score for Darian to a 50. Logan, right. I just want to point out, I think that might be the single lowest non plead score I have ever heard you give. I've given a three before. <laughs> yeah. I've given a three. So. And I've given zero, so. Um, Sorry, no, you're fine. <laughs> um, I'm also going to amend my Darian score to 60. Hmm. Uh, look, look I, I thought it was fine. Um I was too generous giving that 80. <laughs> Anyways. I was too generous giving it a 75. <laughs> now, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> a mango tree, allegedly. <laughs> no. <laughs> like, I I don't see mango. Like, now that I'm looking at it, I'm just like, um, okay. Like, and what kind of tree is this? A mango tree. <laughs> Oh, no. oh god um i'm just gonna give it a two said <laughs> <laughs> two lana yeah i remember how oh god <laughs> oh, last no. time she was on the show <laughs> we said she wasn't ready for the show yeah. This look lets me further know she was not ready for this show. 
Cool. Because number one, that is not a mango tree. I don't know what that is, but it is not a mango tree. A mango Just tree. because you got a brown suit on and wrap some leaves around it does not make you a tree. And if you're going to be a mango tree, I better see more mangoes hanging off the tree than what you are giving us. You're giving us baby lemons, like baby lemons, not even real. Like this is the worst look oh. I've ever seen on a particular runway that I've watched and I have not watched many so I might not be correct in history but and yes I've seen the bag look whatever uh I didn't die no. what happened was I had this to- is horrible <laughs> this is like not hit I will plead several times not to talk about <laughs> this I give it nothing it deserves um, nothing wasted my time showing up like I want to say this is no shade to the person that made this, um, but oh. the person that made this, I would like to acknowledge, I think your craftsmanship is fine, but this was made by her daughter, who uh, Abigail Beverly Hills, who just competed in Alaska's Drag Queen of the Year pageant competition award contest competition. Is she, um, so is Abigail she Beverly Hills? Is she a teen? No, girl? no, she's, she's young. Hmm. Um, but I, I think you're a great drag artist. Abigail Beverly Hills. It's just not this look. David, go ahead. I'm so sorry. You know what, you all? This is a cute look. This is cute. This is cute because it looks like it's for a middle school production of The Wizard of Oz. And she's one of those trees that uh, Dorothy picks. And she says, don't pick my mangoes. (laughs) So... You know, I, I I don't hate it as much as everybody else, but no, it is not drag race main stage ready. It is local theater production ready. I'm gonna give it a 27. You know, um, ever since her going home first, you know, and her emotional untucked moment, I just really want her to, you know, get something. Like I want her to get some change, you know, I want her to have her moment in the spotlight. But then when you show up in garments like this, I just feel so disappointed. Like, you know, when you were in high school and, you know, there was that one kid that had a lot of potential but would just always fool around in the back of the class and whatnot, and the teacher would be so upset. (laughs) (laughs) Hi. Yeah, like, I don't want to think of her that way, you know? Like, I really want something good to come, you know, to come from this season. With that being said, you know, I agree with everyone else. This is not a good look because there are one, two, three, four, five m- mangoes on her body. I'm going to give her a five. <laughs> you know, honestly, I think you are being a bit harsh. But hear me out. Hear me out. This does not fit the theme because it's not focusing on the fruit it's more the tree right it's the tree that makes the fruit well yeah but like it's not okay when i look at this i get tree more than i get the mango if that makes any sense right yes it does yeah Yeah, we did too (laughs) yeah exactly but that's what i'm saying right like i think the actual outfit is cute i think it looks good on her i think it's designed pretty well (laughs) but because i there's no mango on it hardly at all i don't get mango tree i get tree that has like a couple of lemons thrown at it you know because they're all within like a couple spots and then one on the torso that's just kind of randomly there um well they could be flower pods they don't that, even be fruit. that like, part we don't know that's fruit. she could be a fucking vine like i don't know <laughs> um for me this is a 10 for me you guys are so just to put it out there, I love Monica. I just don't like this. We outfit. adore Monica, just not this runway. Dude, the fucking Girl Scout look she wore for her entrance look. Amazing. Amazing. I love that. She yeah. was not ready. This is she wasn't ready. You know who was ready? Nation Lopez. Um, a watermelon purse. Why she? It's a watermelon purse. Mm-hmm. I think it's cute. I think it's. I love that she didn't go literal with the watermelon, but you still see that it is watermelon inspired. Um, it's not my absolute favorite garment of the evening. I'm going to give Nisha a 75. No, I, I love the watermelon inspired. Like, it's not too literal, which I loved about it. So, again, it's like get- abstract watermelon. 
Mm-hmm. No, yeah, that which is great. Like, I loved it. Um, this is gonna be a ninety for me. I mean, it's cute. It's watermelon. I love a good watermelon. It's still a pan suit, so I give it a seventy ish. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, for me, I, it's a cool pattern on a bodysuit, but it's still a bodysuit. And um, she could have at least had a, a big purse to make it kind of draggy. But uh, I think for me, it's a 41. <clears throat> Nisha Lopez in bodysuit number two. Mm-hmm. Nisha, do not give me one more and that's it. Mm-hmm. But... When it does meet the category for me, you know, when you look at it, you see the watermelon. Like I got the watermelon. Um, she looks beautiful. She looks nice. Um, I'm giving her an eighty. You know, I said it earlier. I really hate bodysuits. They're lazy. They're tired. I feel nothing looking at this. So. I like, and again, I agree. I wish the purse was bigger because even then it just feels like something you could buy like at an an expensive boutique somewhere that catered to your, like, like a custom made boutique. Like it feels nothing. I feel nothing. Um, I fucking plead. I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. I'm over the bodysuits. I'm taking it out on National Lopez. I hate it. <laughs> In her defense, she got called two weeks before it was time to go. So I just want to say that. She got called two weeks before she had to go. She could have I would no. like to see you do anything that Nacia Lopez has done on Drag Race, Brooke. I mean, I could definitely go home first. <laughs> we know you 